So now in this video we're going to go back to the basics because this is a diagram I just came across. So we have, uh, that I drew a long time ago, we have Ohm's law for current is uh, I is current equals voltage divided by resistance. So that's uh, maybe the first Ohm's law you will learn. It's a very important one. Uh, usually current is a goal that you have. Voltage is uh, something you know, somewhat in your control, but uh, usually you're working with uh, maybe 5 volts for some reason, maybe 12 volts for some reason, and if you use the old alkaline batteries, uh, good chance you'll be using 9 volts. That's uh, what I was using when I started making these videos. And uh, so in any case, um, the uh, voltage, it's uh, not as adjustable, although it can be if you really want it to. So uh, the current that you uh, desire is usually uh, one of the things you actually desire that means you got to pick the right value resistor because current is voltage divided by resistance and uh, when I say the right value resistor I don't mean there's a value you have to pick um, generally uh, speaking there's a wide range of uh, values that you can use but you still have to understand it's going to affect the amount of current that you have so 15, uh, 14 milliamps of current this is actually going to come out to about 13.6 uh, milliamps of current which is the same as 0 .0, uh, 0.136 amps because a milliamp is one one thousandth of an amp but in any case uh, in this circuit that's the current you can expect for some reason I rounded it off um, probably because uh, having a decimal point in another uh, digit would uh, be kind of a wide amount of space so um, I don't really regret that uh, probably better to round up when you're talking about uh, current a little bit than down so because uh, too much current uh, usually can cause trouble so it's better to have a little less act in the actual circuit than you uh, um, you know estimate so we have 5 volts 220 ohm resistor LED they're in series that's the negative side of the 5 volts right there series a single path and ultimately uh, current flows uh, back you know it's a loop but we uh, made a simplified version here where we start on one spot and we go to the other we could work our way down as well so that gives you more of a sense of it go like going downhill kind of like water here it's just kind of flowing like left to right when you think of current in reality electrons are going the opposite way but it's the same path so we have the uh, 5 volts the LED is going to drop about 2 volts out of that 5 volts that's what's important to remember if it is a red LED blue LEDs actually drop 3 uh, volts there'll be less current because there'll be less voltage across the uh, resistor but the uh, blue LEDs are still brighter at the same current so um, and uh, oh I thought I might have wrote a note about that but I didn't so in any case uh, we dropped about 2 volts out of that 5 that's for the resistor to deal with so that gives us 3 volts left right there 5 by 220 ohms and there's the math uh, the current I already talked about this uh, before so again this is the same as 13.6 milliamps of current which will light up an LED pretty nicely you could go up to about 20 milliamps but uh, that's the limit I think even 20 milliamps is a little bit hard on the LEDs you should probably go down a little bit 15 is probably fine maybe even uh, uh, 10 milliamps of current would be fine right there so we always also have to worry about wattage we're not going to cover that in this video wattage is uh, the voltage across the resistor because this is the one that determines the wattage we have a set voltage across the LED so we only have to worry about the uh, current as long as there's at least two volts in the circuit so in any case uh, rest of the voltage three volts goes across the uh, resistor you take that three volts times this right there and because that's the current flowing through the circuit resistor and everything else and uh, that gives you the wattage you want to stay below a uh, 0.125 ideally definitely need to stay below 0.25 for most uh, resistors we're way below that um, so we're not gonna worry about that so moving along um, that was the as I said before left to right basically same thing you could work up down if you wanted to so over here we have a uh, way to draw schematics where uh, you got a battery symbol so it's showing two cells that's one cell there that's the other cell there this is the positive side you may or may not see positive uh, but that wider side is the positive side uh, there should be a voltage uh, next to it um, so um, basically this is saying two six volt cells but they just use the two cells to indicate like any kind of battery for the most part but if you saw like a third cell fourth or something then it's probably indicating that um, you know it's a number of cells for a certain chemistry 
but uh, just two cells is just a broad that's a battery symbol for the most part uh, any kind of battery but we got that voltage next one now the amount of current that it has to provide depends on the load generally it doesn't uh, give you an indication of how much current you're going to need this particular one does um, because I added it right there I got the symbol so you could actually take a, a multimeter measurement there you could have a, a little um, they got like little boxes that tell you uh, maybe the voltage and maybe the current flowing uh, through a spot and um, you know there wouldn't be a voltage here but it could like go up there and look at the voltage difference but in case um, this is just a bubble to inform you that's how much current's flowing through but it may also indicate uh, you got a little meter uh, right there that measures the current but in case it's basically like a piece of wire just looking at the current if it is a, a meter so we got 12 volts there same thing uh, red LED it's gonna drop like 2 volts doesn't matter that we have twice the supply voltage uh, more current going through it does make it build up just a tiny bit and uh, lower currents a, a little bit less but it's right around that 2 volt area so 1000 ohm resistor making the math really easy um, first off uh, this uh, time 220 ohm resistor uh, first off more current than the LED allows and it would get too hot so we're lowering the current um, mostly so we're 10 milliamps of current less than what the LED um, you know it could go up to like 20 so it's like 10 milliamps about halfway through there but at 12 volts even the 1000 ohm resistor is going to get pretty warm right there so I don't use a lower value uh, resistor there and uh, the math is pretty easy we got 0 0.01 amps which is the same as 10 milliamps of current flowing through here 10 volts across the resistor right there so you times this by 10.1 and you got 0.1 uh, watts and because uh, it's uh, 0 0.01 amps times uh, 10 uh, 10 volts right there and uh, so that'd be 0 0.1 watts uh, which again I try to limit the resistors the quarter watt resistors 0.25 watts to a 0.125 watts so same as that technique we had here we're applying over here we got to worry about wattage more and uh, I didn't write out those numbers uh, but you know because it's important but we're focusing on the current here so a lot of people will ask why did I pick this value resistor look at these basic circuits and see why the basic circuits use uh, those value resistors so whatever you're looking at remember Ohm's law that's why Ohm's law is important it's always gonna come up in electronics if the Ohm's law formulas are uh, uh, you don't understand them you really need to understand them before you're gonna progress uh, very far so uh, focus on that just watch videos on Ohm's law and stuff if what I'm saying here is confusing I, I don't think it is for most people um, you know some people pick up certain stuff faster than others so moving along 9 volt as I said before if you are using alkaline batteries like I did when I first started making these videos I didn't want to buy like a power supply or anything I wanted to keep a budget I think I bought like 10 alkaline batteries somewhere around 10 for like ten dollars or something something like that um, through Amazon and uh, and then once I got the power supply I can just set the power supply to 9 volts I don't need the battery thing is though uh, 9 volt battery if it's alkaline it's probably a 9.5 volts brand new right before you use it as you use it it's gonna go down and maybe at like 7 volts or something uh, you're gonna say like my circuit needs uh, more voltage you put in a new battery so there's battery snaps they snap on there they got a couple wires and here um, instead of you know just a little bubble there to indicate the current I have a little drawing of a basically a multimeter so um, you know it would have more settings than this but I kept it simple like we got amp uh, right there and uh, this would be auto ranging it would let you know that's in milliamps or something um, but in case again it would be 0 0.01489 amps um, and that may still be rounded off a little bit even though I added a lot of digits there but uh, in any case we got 7 volts again same rule as these the LED is dropping about 2 volts because it's red again blue will drop about uh, or green will drop about 3 volts and uh, so it's not going to be exact either higher currents it's going to be slightly higher lower currents can be slightly lower but very close in this case to uh, 2 volts and a 470 ohm resistor so I put the color code on there so yellow and violet is 47 I used 47 as I said before I was doing a lot of 9 volt batteries so I used 100, uh, 470 ohms a whole lot so I pretty much instinctively know that uh, yellow violet is 47 and then we got zero 
This is the multiplier band. So these blue ones have four uh, bands for the value. And then that's the tolerance. It can be 1% higher or lower than the value we got. So 470. And now this one's also zero. That's the uh, multiplier. So what makes it most simple for me is that's no more zeros. And uh, it's also the same as times one. But zero zeros is the way I like to think of it. Keeps that zero as black um, going. Although it's a multiplier. So it's zero zeros. No more. 470, 470 ohms. So yeah, it's a... Uh, same exact thing. We got seven volts because the LED is dropping two volts out of the nine volts that the battery has. Again, if you're using a battery, it's probably not going to be spot on the uh, value that it says. Uh, like 12 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries, their nominal voltage is actually 12.8. So even though you see uh, 12 volts um, on there, if it says like a 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery, just the nominal voltage is 12.8. Uh, half the time it's above that if you go from fully charged to fully discharged. If you only discharge it halfway, you're going to be stopping at 12.8 volts and then charging it back up and um, to a higher voltage. Uh, we're not going to dwell on that. Just realize when it comes to uh, using batteries, the, uh, the nominal voltage, whatever it is, is not usually the voltage uh, you're working with sometimes most of the time. Uh, so again, 9 uh, volts will be about 9.5 when it's brand new. It'll take a while, but it'll get down to 9, and then work its way down to 8.5, and then at some point, like, it's going to start dropping rapidly. Also, while it's powering a load, when it's, uh, you know, not uh, completely brand new, when it's, you know, somewhat discharged especially, while it's powering a load, the voltage is going to drop down a bit. You remove the load, the voltage is going to bounce up a bit. So if it's not powering a load, and the voltage still looks like borderline, once you attach the load, it's going to suck it down, and because uh, it can't maintain that voltage, so you got to be aware of that. Um, again, these are beginner topics. One of the first thing you should learn: ohms law for current, especially. Now, um, you could also have the ohms law for resistance if uh, you have a voltage and uh, resistance that uh, or a, a voltage and a current you desire, then. Uh, you put uh, the I there, voltage divided by current will give you the resistance. It's different uh, when you want the uh, voltage, though. That is uh, current times uh, resistance right there. So I'm pretty sure I got that resistance formula right. Um, because uh, you start out with voltage. Voltage is what you got. And uh, that breaks into, when it comes to the formula, resistance and current uh, right there. It uh, one of them splits it or the other one splits it however you want to do the formula uh, but ultimately the uh, a voltage if you know the resistance and the current they combine to uh, give you the uh, voltage in relationship to the formula not the, not in uh, reality um, so yeah that's about it um, kind of uh, explain stuff I wasn't preparing to so hopefully it didn't get confusing but yeah, that's my whole little diagram that I made a long time ago, and uh, I think I explained it uh, decently well. So, hope you enjoy. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen, and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you on the next video.